Pokemon meme review is back. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. Pie. Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to Ask Pit Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you my ongoing series where I react to submissions on my subreddit, r slash mnjtv, and since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon <laughs> Meme Review. I am officially back from my upload hiatus, sabbatical, whatever you want to call it. If you want to hear more about what I figured out during that and what's gonna be different going forward, I posted a video to a brand new channel called MNJTV Extra, and you can find that video and that channel up in the cards. Also, you may have noticed in the intro, I teased the new Hailstorm form Mighty Plush, which is not available yet, but it will be soon. I really like it. It says, hail yeah, on the feet, which is amazing. But that covers all the intro stuff. So let's dive in to the memes. Here we are in r slash MNJTV, sorted by top in the past month. Uh, it won't let me do top in the past two months. It's been two months since I recorded this. So if you submitted something in July, it's probably not here. I'm sorry. It's just the way this particular cookie happened to crumble. Describe your favorite Pokemon in the poopiest <laughs> manner possible. Bird superhero. A lamp, that's it. It's a lamp. Beefy alligator. Oh, so this person is that boy without a monocycle with thick thighs and weapons in them instead. Wait, now I kind of want to try and figure this out. Frog, right? With thick thighs. That boy is a frog. Blue. Is it Greninja? I guess we'll never know. Why did Team Sky do that? Why did Team Sky paint a Tauros red? Because Red Bulls give you wings. <laughs> All right, pretty good. I've actually started working on the next Team Sky video. Uh, it's gonna be a bit before it's out, but I've started working on that and I hope you're excited. What do you think the strange power source for the Gen 10 gimmick will be? Powered by friendship, powered by dancing, powered by energy spots, powered by boss. Be powered by, I wish I was sponsored by a battery company. It'd be a great point to make that joke. Purebred dogs versus... <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Finally, our bat will be legendary. The bat. <laughs> nice. Water fairy, glimmer swimmer. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Whooper. <laughs> if you can read this, we can be friends. You are an... How could you? Is that a Pikachu? Ain't Mickey Mouse. <laughs> what? <laughs> Teaching my Pokemon status moves? No. Teaching my Pokemon only damaging moves? Yes. That was definitely me when I was a kid. I saw no point whatsoever to stat boosting moves. <laughs> I was like, he sword danced? Oh, he just waited, wasted a turn. Who cares? Look at Paldean Whooper. He has a big smile. He does. We admire. Why is it when someone signs up for the gym challenge, they always pick one of you three? <laughs> Are you going to sleep? Yes, now shut up. Greninja hasn't been in a mainline Switch game yet. That's fine, Greninja's everywhere. Go-Goat returned before him. Hey, Greninja could be in Scarlet and Violet. Speaking of that, did you guys see that Go-Goat is gonna be in Scarlet and Violet? I got very excited about it. Go-Goat is back! We are live here, ladies and gentlemen, with Kyogre and Groudon still fighting it. Wait, what's this? It's, it's Bayakus, it's Rayquaza. Right, Quasar with a steel chair! <laughs> and his name is John Skyner! <laughs> Statue of Liberty when it was made, Statue of Liberty now. Okay, that's pretty creative. Walked into a home goods today, pretty sure they're a Team Rocket hideout. <laughs> Especially since those arrows don't make much sense. A science meme. Or Mikey, leap, put the, remove the C. What? No, ain't Mickey Mouse. I'm taking the two of you in for assault. You'll never catch us alive, copper. <laughs> Very good. You can't replace surprised Pikachu. <laughs> I mean, it's making the right, if, right expression. Petition for Splash to do exactly one damage if the player is on water or it's raining. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, like, I feel like being splashed with a small bit of water should do a bit more damage than freaking bubble. The commentators are cosplaying Rose and Sonya. Oh, that's creative. I did not watch much of Worlds. I watched the news, you know, that revealed, uh, Cyclazar, but aside from that, I didn't really watch much. Unknown lore, unknown stats, unknown move pool, unknown design. <laughs> Roses are red, pirates say ahoy, aha, it is I, Grunty Boy. <laughs> aha, it is I, Grunty Boy, and finally you're back, where have you been? I was on my break. And why wasn't I informed of that? I popped in here so many times only to find it empty. I sent you a text. No, you did not, oh. You did. Well, uh, all is 
forgiven. I uh, hope it went well. I've been up to quite a bit myself, actually, the last few weeks. I've been promoted to the CEO of Raycon, the sponsor of today's video. You are not the chief executive officer of Raycon. Correct. I'm the charming, exquisite officer where I use my good looks to promote Raycon earbuds. Here, I'll show you. Raycon earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever, giving you quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. And as you know, they don't budge, even when jostling about. Yeah, I love using mine for exercising since they won't fall out when I'm running. Running away from your responsibility and your friends and, uh, no, sorry, sorry, confusion's on me. Raycon earbuds have some really cool and easy to use features as well, such as touch controls on the earbuds for actions like pausing, going to the next song, and so forth. Yeah, it's really convenient to just hit the button twice to pause instead of reaching in for my phone. I'm also a fan of their option between noise isolation and awareness mode. So depending on the situation, I can either be fully immersed or be able to listen while still hearing what's going on around me. Must be nice to know what's going on around you and again, sorry, I've been lonely. Click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash MJTV to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Nice work, but hey man, are we good? Yes, we're fine. Just never leave me again. Ta-ta! Pokemon BDSP, Pokemon Legends Aquus. Yeah, so I'm gonna be real guys, BSP is a bad game. Let me show you something. Welcome to Google Trends, where you can see how a particular topic or search term, like what its volume of search is, and you can compare it to others and you can see it over time. So here we have blue is sword and shield and red is brilliant diamond. It didn't let me put in brilliant diamond shining pearl, but like alphabetically, like this is sufficient. So as you can see in November of 2021, brilliant diamond, had a whole lot of stuff happening because it freaking came out. And then it had a bump again uh, around Christmas because people got it for Christmas uh, and dwarfing Sword and Shield, of course. But then if we change this from the past 12 months to the past 90 days, the past three months, Sword and Shield, a game that is almost three years old, has higher search and interest across the board than Brilliant Diamond does. And Brilliant Diamond is less than a year old. This is a testament to how Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl were so deeply flawed and uninteresting that they are getting less interest than a three-year-old game. Of course, Sword and Shield has a spike around when Worlds is happening, but that only accounts for like this little bit right here. The rest of it, Sword and Shield are winning. I don't think Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl were done very well in that. And, and well, that's enough of that discussion. Pikachu you just wanted to fit in. <laughs> okay, that's amusing. Johto fans, Heart Gold, Soul Silver are the best, most complete Pokemon games. Sinnoh fans, Cynthia is the most difficult champion to date. Unova fans, Black and White have the best story in the entire series. Owen fans, oh yeah. <laughs> Me finding Shining Ralts on Route 102, then realizing I'm in the Wally tutorial. I'm very glad that's never happened to me. What do I think about the Terrastal phenomenon? Um, I guess I can comment on this because I haven't really uh, discussed it. Not really a meme, but I'll talk about it. I think that strategically it is interesting. Changing a type mid battle, I, I just think that's, that's a, a cool thing and I'm excited to see how it plays out in the competitive scene from a distance. Participating in competitive myself is very bad for my mental health. Design wise, I think it looks freaking stupid. Like the hats are dumb. They crystal, like they look ridiculous, especially this giant diamond. It's so tacky. It's like begging for attention. I think it would have been more interesting if it was like they get some kind of glowing aura around them or their, their colors change or something like that. The hats are just, not a fan of the hats. Me using a different template to feel different. Everyone else. Oh, that's cool. Kumarisho. Hey, definitely butchered that. Uh, but this is fun art. That's like being the like the toothless and the love interest of toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Although we need a part of like the Scarlet and Violet trainers in the bushes going. G Max Phalanx as a Trojan horse. Huh. I never considered that. What an interesting idea. Although I don't believe Phalanx is based on Greek soldiers. Oh, okay, I'm wrong. The Phalanx is particularly used to describe the use of this formation in ancient Greek warfare. Oh, okay. Well, then the Trojan horse was really cool because it was used by Greek soldiers. I'll give you an upvote. I think that's fun. Archie releases Kyogre and expands the ocean. Maxi, what the F happened to the floor? <laughs> it's all wet. I don't really have any strong opinions on anything. Gen 8 was bad. <laughs> What's everyone's opinions on the new Pokemon? I suppose I can 
give you mine because I haven't discussed that in this main video. So Titan I think is cool, but I think it looks a bit odd. Fido's name is hilarious. And Paldean Wooper I think is cute. I mean, it's a Wooper. It's hard to make Wooper not cute. Oh, somebody found a T-Pose frame in one of the trailers. That's kind of funny. Who dares beseech the great land shark dragon? I will rip you apart limb from limb and leave you. Don Fanny's ice shard is super effective. <laughs> Garchomp effing died. <laughs> Pikachu, you slam. And then he freaking misses because slam is an awful move. It's like only like what? Like 80 power and 75% accurate? Pikachu's victims. <laughs> the various legends. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> me enjoying memes on the m TV subreddit. School, chores, and job ready to end me. My condolences. Oh, <laughs> that's cool fan art by Elite Four. I like that idea. Hoping for a Gen 5 remake. Patiently waiting without harassing Game Freak. Honestly though, after BDSP, I don't know if I want like a black and white remake. I think I want like Pokemon Legends Qrem or something. Like take us back to Unova, but like if you're just gonna make a like one-to-one -one remake that like doesn't include the improvements of Black 2 and White 2, you know? Doesn't include any of the fun new locations in Black 2 and White 2. Shock us all and make a Black 3 and White 3, but Black 2 and White 2 are like one of the worst selling games in the entire franchise, so I don't think that's likely. In a universe, in a galaxy, in a solar system, on a planet, on a continent, in a country, in a statue, no, in a state, in a city, in a neighborhood, on a street, in a house, in a room, there's a person thinking what the F happened to the floor. Amazing, the kind of influence that has had. <laughs> the Sun and Moon protagonists in cutscenes. Tell me a fusion and I'll draw them. Oh, that's cool. Lucario and Necrozma. Blastoise, S <laughs> Sleetlix. <laughs> And Zapdos, Dino, and Zamazenta. Lucario and Necrozma is definitely the best of these. When you go to buy repels and there's a cave coming up, I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> I, I like copied that line from John Tron and now my copying of it is in the meme. It's kind of like how the photosynthesis bit from Pokemon type stereotypes is like become the, its own meme within itself. And like so many people don't realize I took that from SpongeBob. <laughs> you owe me a new Cyclozar. Oh, that's kind of funny. Nostalgic. Oh no. Everyone after finding out Coridon doesn't use its wheels. I personally still prefer Coridon. Like, I don't think it would make a whole lot of sense for it to have wheels just because it's prehistoric. I mean, I get why they did it, you know, just like, oh, it's, look, like it's this motorcycle-like creature, but it's prehistoric, so it can't actually spin its wheels. Like, I, I think it looks a little goofy, yeah, but I still think overall the design of Coridon, I prefer over Miraidon, because I like the ancient aesthetic better, better than the futuristic aesthetic. Um, it looks more like a real lizard. I love lizards. So yeah, I, kn I know some people have a problem with it. I, I get having an issue with it, but I still prefer Scarlet and we'll get Scarlet. Oh, poor cast form. <laughs> Player does literally anything Gen 1 games. Yeah, I haven't played through all the way Gen 1 or Gen 2 since they came out on the virtual console because it's like, if I want to play through Kanto, I'll do Fire, Red, Leaf, Green, or Let's Go. If I want to play through Johto, I'll do Heart Gold, Soul Silver. They're the same games, but just better. Now, of course, you could argue the same for Ruby Sapphire Emerald versus Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but Ruby Sapphire Emerald don't have as many quality of life inconveniences that make playing it just like annoying. Like the PC box is fully operational <laughs> in Gen 3. And like the battle mechanics are not so broken. You know, I mean, yeah, there's a few things like the physical special split isn't there and like the bag can fill up, but like those are things I can live with. The box filling up and the limited poorly organized bag and the battle mechanics being ridiculous. Just no. Mikey, when he sees a doe dog, notices it's named Fido. Yeah. <laughs> like I think the Pokemon design is fine. It's like kind of cute, but like the name is mwah. Lechonk, Fido, Smoliv, the names this generation are Top tier. What if you wanted to go to heaven, but God said you have to like Gen 5? I would I would go to heaven. Cool orange lizard, an effing plane, me trying to choose one of from the new legendaries. Like I said, I like the cool orange lizard, even if he doesn't use his wheel. Dialga began poking you in the stomach. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> terrestrialized phenomenon. Three different stories. Ooh, oh yeah, that's actually, I'm really intrigued by that. I don't know what the three different stories are, the fact that only one of them is the gym challenge is like, what? What will the others be? All day in Wooper, so Titan and Fido revealed, yes, and Go Goat is back! Oh, I never cared about Go Goat until like this year, and now it's just thrilling to see him. This is a wheel. Yep, I have two on your body. Yep, 
Not correct. One is an inflated sack and one is his tail curled up. Ash versus red, who do you think will win? Well, you can determine that by watching my old rap battle. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how Ash and red finally come face to face in Pokemon Masters seven years after I made a rap battle between the two. You haven't seen that. You should go give it a watch for some nostalgia. College Mikey. I remember that, that time on YouTube thinking like, that's the only way to get really big on YouTube music parodies, which is completely false. That's what I thought at the time. <laughs> I mean, I think it's one of the coolest videos I've ever made to this day. Oh, you're a pig? Oink. <laughs> ah, that's cool. A cast from evolution. I love it. I want it. It's over Anakin. Agron. Yamper. <laughs> oh, that's some cool reuniclus art. Nice work. I love how we got a land whale Pokemon that has the perfect typing to obliterate the land shark Pokemon. Yeah, that I didn't think about that. Pokemon back at it again, making sizes weird. It's possible though that Satitan, because of the way it's standing, that might be referring to its length, whereas Groudon could be referring to its height. It's, uh, they're so inconsistent. Me who thinks Cyclozar just looks cool, people think Cyclozar will evolve into legendaries, a new community war, people think it just looks similar. I mean, they're definitely connected. My theory is it's like Cyclozar is like the modern one. And then Koridon is like the ancestor. And then Miraidon is the descendant or something like that. A new evolution. I, uh, I, I, I don't think we're getting a new evolution, guys. They, that's something they would market before the games came out. And we are getting close to the games coming out. He gave me loaded dice. <laughs> Oh, what a, what a niche meme, but I like it. <laughs> I made a Team Sky poster because I was bored. The ultimate journey to expand the sky. Whatever that means. <laughs> a Netflix film, Team Sky. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's fun. Oh, the evolution to Kimono. Picanto. That is very cool fan art. I like it. That's where I'm gonna wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon <laughs> Meme <clears throat> Meme Review. Thank you so much for watching with an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. And if you wanna help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out my new MNJTV Extra channel. That's where my Scarlet and Violet playthrough is going to be. And uh, that's all I have for now. So until next time, begins. Gotta catch them all.